Good morning. Welcome to a new week of remote learning. We're on week three now, so this is your Monday. Um, I hope you all had a lovely weekend and had a nice rest from your home learning. Um, I had a lovely weekend. I went out on some nice walks. Um, so yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> okay, what do you do, Miss Welsh? <laughs> well, do you know what? You're really lucky that we, we're actually going to go with this one because we recorded this about four times so far because we've had a little bit of the laughing fits. <laughs> so we, I think we both have busy weekends. Yeah. Haven't we? <laughs> right. So Miss Welsh is going to lead you through the day now, okay? So to start with then, our Read Write Inc is changing this week and we're not going to have the sounds every day but we're going to have some other activities. You've got a hold a sentence activity, we can click on the video but you'll, you will definitely need pen and paper to write down the sentence and some red word practice. We've left the extension games in there if you do want those. And for English then today we're still continuing with our instructions genre and we're looking at rhetorical questions. So you can have a little go at writing some rhetorical questions. Um, in maths, you're making equal groups, you're continuing with our multiplication theme. And then you've got a PE and a story with Mrs. Taylor today. And then to finish up, we're going to carry on with our history learning. And our learning question today is, why is Florence Nightingale a significant individual from the past? And I've recorded a video of me speaking over a PowerPoint for you to complete. And there are some sorting cards which we've emailed out and on the website for you to do after that. So well done for all the work so far and have a good Monday.